Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, we are talking of 21H1 today. So one of uh, the many questions that I have is about how, um, if they can actually, if your computer is okay to move on to this new version that will be arriving soon. Well, the good news about 21H1 is that it's pretty much the same thing as 20H2 and 20H1. That means the minimum requirements are the same. That means that the performance and the way it works is pretty much the same. Think about it as just a very small update that is added to the Windows 10 operating system. It doesn't really add much, but it actually is at least going to work on everything that already is on the May and October 2020 update. There is, for those that are talking and thinking of the connection and HD audio, um, I've seen a few posts uh, where it kind of, the wording is weird, so it's not clear, but there is some speculation that maybe somehow at 21H1, um, the um, connection HD audio driver might be fixed for some reason, maybe because they could change it to the Microsoft HD audio thing. I don't know. Um, we're still in the dark for those that are in the connection HD audio that really can't move on right now. As for speed and performance, it should be pretty much the same. Haven't seen any difference personally in my machine with 21H1 because you see here, that's what I'm running. Uh, you might be thinking, how come you got 21H1? Well, because I'm on the beta channel insider on this machine. And um, this is you know, running fine. The other questions I get, will I be lost and uh, not understand anything because uh, there's a new version and every time there's a new version, I don't understand what I'm doing and what's happening. Um, honestly, when I get that type of comment, I don't know what is happening and what you are actually lost about because each version, especially in the past couple of years, don't change anything. When you get to the new version, apart from a few new features, everything is still the same. So there's no being lost. I don't understand exactly how can somebody be lost about something when uh, I see that type of comment. Um, that is, you know, there's really here, there, There's you shouldn't see any difference when this is actually installed than the last version and the version before. Other questions, of course, is should, you know, will I be forced on this once again? No, you're not going to be forced on this unless you are at the last version uh, where it's, you know, end of support soon for your operating system. It's very important to understand that the end of support is what is making uh, you forced upgraded to a new version of Windows 10. The... Um, does my computer, is my computer, you know, compatible in any way? Yes, it is. Like I said, nothing has changed in the uh, area of uh, minimum requirements. Whatever works on the 2020 versions, the May and October, works on 21H1 without any uh, changes or any problems. Will I lose some software? Will there be something that will be deactivated because it's incompatible uh, not, um, you know, anything that works in 20, 20H, um, 20H1, 20H2, I don't see why it shouldn't work in 21H1 once again, because there's really, really very minor updates and changes in here. So technically, pretty much everything should be working on this operating system version. And in the past, I know that some versions of Windows sometimes deactivated older software because they were incompatible. It happened mostly when there's big new feature updates. Um, but, you know, these are small cumulative updates like service packs. I don't see why there should be any differences there. So, like I said, your computer should be compatible. Even if you have an old computer, if you had it running on 20H2 or, you know, version 2004 of last year, it's going to update to 21H1, and you shouldn't see any difference in performance, honestly. So, uh, that's, you know, something coming up. And uh, once again, not released yet, but very soon. That's why we're talking about it, because it's like, you know, in the days or weeks coming, we should see this, um, that that should get on the uh, 
official release for Seekers, as we say. So I hope that you uh, will find this uh, uh, these series of uh, videos just explaining the basics of 21H1 uh, interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.